Hello ladies and gentlemen of the Stellar Crew, my name is Cody and welcome back to an episode on the Danville Den. So we are here in Shell City, first thing on our little to-do list is to show you that we have a nice little name garden, soul garden, whatever we're calling it. So if you want your name added to this magical, magical list, comment your name below, subscribe, and that's all you gotta do. So in the last episode, we actually just made our storage building, which was a desperate need because I was very unorganized, I'm still unorganized, but at least this way stuff is finally getting organized. One big thing that I completely forgot to do in the last episode was show you guys what spawn looked like. Also, we're slowly expanding the glow lichen on the ceiling. I think it looked like stars, and I really wanted to add a nice feeling to the city. So there are a lot of perks uh, after leveling up and stuff in the server, one of which is flying. But yeah, Shell City. I removed all the glow berries from the center of the ceiling because I didn't like them hanging down covering it up. So now when you get here, it's beautiful. It's just the portal. And you know, glow lichen is slowly spreading, which is nice. We got the home beacon. So yeah. Yeah, let's jump on over to spawn. Also, I've changed some mic stuff around, so I'm actually not using the Yeti to record right now. But hopefully this sounds better. Uh, I kept running into pitching issues, so I really hope that this sounds better and doesn't pitch. Uh, yeah. So yeah, here's spawn. So much different than the last time. If you guys remember, we had the, the Shell City aspect. So actually, to the right of spawn, you'd go right, walk this way, turn right. And right here is the Shell City, or the, you know, the Stellar tag, I mean. So if you ever get a Stellar key for the Stellar crate, then... You know, it's right here. And I'm actually gonna be expanding stuff uh, around the outer edge here. But there's so many different places you can explore. Like this one, this is the Anti-Dan, which is like another Anti-Dan. It's a crate system where you can actually get stellar keys, I believe, yeah. So you get two reinforced keys, golden apple, and you get a stellar key, and then it progresses up, and you can actually get armors and, or sorry, weapons out of that one. And then over here is the public storage. Right here is where you guys can, you know, leave gifts for other players. So if I just, you know, if there's something in my player vault that I, I don't want, for instance, like, uh, you know, sugarcane. All right, well, ta-da. It's there for whoever wants it. There's also an upstairs, which I can go ahead and show you. It's nice and beautiful. Those are AI. Uh, so that's the person that made it. And then there's all these other builds that you can explore that players have made. So the spawn is built pretty much out of the players, like different events and stuff. And this got put in because of someone privately donating. Definitely not me. And... Yeah, then there's festive events because, you know, we got festive themes going on. Like, right now it's a Halloween theme. There's a spawner trade-in area, which I won't go too in-depth on that, but pretty much you could trade spawn eggs for spawn, uh, spawners. <laughs> Literal spawners. So yes, the creators, the creators and developers, smile and squee. And then there's the magical pumpkin, which was a player build. They're all player builds, technically, but you know what I mean. And then over here is where you pretty much uh, do your crates. Actually, I don't think I've seen you. Oh, yeah, I have seen you. So there's like this thing called a seller wand because there's a money system in the game, which you can see on the right side of the screen. And uh, yeah, so that, that you have money so you can sell stuff and then you can buy off other players, sell to players, stuff like that. Uh, right now, I'm just selling to a computer system. And I think uh, there's two more places to cover here in spawn, which uh, there's this place little library shard maker i haven't had a chance to mess around with this too much but that's that's a key that's a key and uh you know obviously the end portal frame now danville shards can also be used to get danville armor it's like a, a very souped up netherite with uh special stuff on it like for instance I, right here so there's different ones there's reinforced danville anti-danville uh so you can see it has overgrowth something or regrowth which is something that's not normally there and i believe yeah we have flame walker and then there's fire shield sonic 3 and bunny hop bunny hop makes you jump the flame walker is really cool because you can just walk on lava and it kind of freezes it's like um it's like the boots that turn the water to ice, except for lava. Then there's another community build. This one's about my waifu. You come in here, and it's a top voter crate. So there's a voting system in the game where pretty much you just use your username to vote. I don't think there's anything down here anymore. Yeah, this used to be used for uh, for some other stuff. I think it was a crate. But yeah, if you actually click on them, you can preview what you can get, like elytra, armor, or I don't know why I keep saying armor, weapons, all that fun stuff. And that's actually money. But you can see on the right, I'm pushing three million. Mainly because I don't know what to spend it on yet. So yeah, my whole idea right here, uh, I'm going to put a, a big old secret parkour place down here. And then maybe figure something out. I don't know. I'm going to definitely decorate this little area, make it look cooler. And then maybe add some lure, which I do like lure. And you'll be able to go underground. Do a little parkour. I think I covered every building there is. 
I think. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that I did. So if you guys want to play on this server, the IP and Discord are literally down below. It's free to play. Just come play, join, do whatever you want. So right now, my waifu is working on a massive build of her own, which looks really cool. And she just got, I think she's done with this one. This is like the uh, the entryway, if you will, into the, the place she's working on. It is very pretty. And I really, I'm using a shader, by the way, in case you can't tell. And I really like how this one turned out. Got a nice drawbridge. If you actually use the player warp, it spawns you down there. And then you would have to walk up into the city. Now, they do have a slash set home system. So, I mean, you can always use that as well. But to get to the, the Shell City, you know, you're just uh, P-Warp Shell City. And then, ta-da, you're in the magical Shell City, which I've been renovating. Uh, it, it's probably a bit different than the last video. But yeah, I'm slowly making it something new, cleaning it up, definitely cleaning it up. And we're kind of going from there. Uh, I haven't done too much terraforming, as you know, but I'm thinking about doing a mega stream to kind of do mass progression here. So yeah, place for claim by a player. Oh, hi, uh, he's working. Another place, which this is actually the XP spawner, which I've already went in depth on that one. You, you literally just, you can grind in there for XP. All right, now where was I? Uh, this place is another place that I'm gonna let a player claim. It's just an open area. I did have villagers roaming the city, but they got to be pretty excessive. Uh, we got an overpopulation problem that started. This is my little cellar minion. Sir cries a lot. He sells stuff for me. And then this magical place is top top secret, which I actually need to expand it because I actually made it too small. So this is where my tree minions, they, they, you know, they're all named. Uh, they, they give me wood, but the thing is I made this building too small so the trees don't grow. I thought I made it just the right size that'll allow the small trees to grow, but apparently, uh, apparently I did not. So that's something I'm gonna have to fix another day. Storage building we still have this build that's coming up i don't know what i'm going to use that yet uh, i might take down the center wall here and then maybe put a couple small things right there uh this entire area is going to be farming i believe which might even expand over into part of here or i might just make this little paradise beach resort even though it's you know it's lava uh, we do have to watch out for some shriekers though on the far ends of the city because i know i believe let's see the portal is right there all the way back there uh we have couple shriekers so we definitely got to be careful because you know no one likes the warden i mean i like the warden but the thing is he really packs a punch doesn't he it's crazy to see some of the original shell residents running around too after the, the great purge we lost a lot of them this place literally got overpopulated with villagers and wandering traders i mean we did have spawners down here and it just it, it was crazy like there got to be so many of them it was just obnoxious, so I pretty much, they, they, they had to take them out, so we ended up killing so many of them. So yes, if you're ever in the area around here, don't kill our, our people anymore. You know, the few people we have are to be cherished and walk lonely or along the streets. But yes, like I said, if you want to play on the server, IP is going to be down below. This is Java. This is not Bedrock. A lot of people think it's Bedrock. This most definitely is not bedrock this is java and yeah if you join tell them i sent you say hi from stellar's video and if you want free xp just do forward slash p warp uh, shell city and you know just go right over there that building right there go over there sit in there for a bit just collect your xp you know it's free on the house oh yeah and we have a stray spawner over there that, that's something else too yep ladies and gentlemen you like the video like subscribe uh i think i showed off just about everything that i can right now uh lex is working on her build i'm working on getting shell city up and going uh they're working on a new community like a p warp community and the spawn is definitely uh changed a lot i think it looks absolutely amazing and yeah you want to experience this server definitely play it yourself go have fun ladies and gentlemen you like the video hit the like button see whatever you do subscribe i'm trying to get some more content out soon we're trying to beat the lego star wars the biggest issue with it though is those are hour-long episodes and i don't even have time to really record down a 30 minute episode and get that edited down either so i'm trying to get the time managed out pretty much uh the, the best i can uh so we can get back on a good track of daily videos we almost had daily videos and then i missed yesterday which th that's okay we're, we're figuring it out recorded an episode of saints row with the mechanoid wolf which uh he's an old member of team mechanoid uh the name has nothing to do with mechanoid but it's also my cousin and we've made some videos in the past so it was, it was kind of fun to get into that and record with uh, another person that records. 
It was fun, even though the game is glitchier than Cyberpunk. So yeah, hopefully the audio sounds good. Hopefully it's not pitchy. I'm, to be completely honest, I'm, I have a lav mic propped up, which is like a tie clip mic, but it's a film mic specifically. So hopefully it sounds good. I mean, looking at the recording program, it's pitching like crazy, but I've done tests and it looks like it's pitching, but it's not. So I really hope that it's not because I really want this video to turn out good. And a pitchy mic definitely kills it. Anyways, for the traditional outro, if you like what you see, hit the like button, you see more than definitely do so subscribe. Other than that, you all enjoy the rest of your day, night, whoever and wherever you may be. Play the Danville Den right now. Don't forget, if you comment your name and subscribe, you get put in that lovely soul garden, as we're calling it. And you're more than welcome to visit this place. You're more than welcome to explore it. Check out all the names. And yeah, definitely help us fill it up. Share this with your friends. Uh, now that we're monetized and everything, like our, you guys are popping up. I'm popping up in your recommendations a lot more, I should say. And yeah, so let's get this, this journey kicking off even further. I'm starting another series here soon that Lex actually named called Three Boos and a Ha, which is kind of like Markiplier's Three Scary Games, except it's two scary games. And one funny game. I feel like uh, the whole idea of it, I really like, so I'm going to do it. And that's also a good ex a good way for me to get into horror games because I'm not good at horror games. I am a big baby when it comes to horror, but I want to get into them. I already have the two horror games popped out and I got to find a, com a comedic game. And yeah, but yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Give Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, I'm having a stroke.